Hey guys, so this video is going to just show you how to make our MySQL databases a little more efficient. Now uh, this is a thing we did in class where we set up a student table and we had some information about students, their first name and last name, and also we had the tutor group they belong to. Now uh, this is what I would describe as a very inefficient table because you can see down the tutor group there's a lot of bits of data that are repeated so you can see MTH here for a tutor group is repeated over and over. Now when you have data like that where something can be referred to uh, or entered the same in multiple places we should really put that in another table and then link to it using a common field. So what I'm going to do and this is what I would like you guys to do if you're in my class is to create a second table inside the same database which I'm going to call tutor group and it's only going to have two columns and it's basically going to have your tutor group ID which is integer I'll just make a length of two don't forget to make it primary and auto increment because it is the primary key and then I'm just going to have the name of the tutor group which I'll make varchar and that's a limit of three characters alright so in that tutor group table what I want you to do is insert a few records. So I'm just going to put in a few made up tutor group codes here. Um, I can't remember what other ones I might have had in there. Um, I don't know, pad. Right, so I've got five. So just make some up. And uh, if we browse that, you can see that they are there. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our uh, student table and we're going to link to this table so instead of a student belonging to MTH they're actually going to belong to tutor group number one so what I need to do is go to my student table and go to the structure and I just need to uh, where it says tutor group I actually need to change that now in fact I might actually just drop that all together and uh, I'm just going to add one column uh, at the end of the table so you can see below the table just hit go and uh, I'm just going to put tutor group ID in there so that's the same field name as I had as my primary key in the tutor group table so that's integer length of two so just save that and so now when I browse my table you'll notice I've got this column tutor group ID and Say I always want to go through and everyone who belongs to MTH, which was tutor group number one, so Albert Einstein there, I can just double click and enter one to change that. Um, old Archimedes can be one as well, and Isaac Newton, and so on. And so I can go through now and actually assign these guys to tutor groups. Um, and I'm just going to randomly put them in now. And these guys are going to be in, oops, done them already. Finn, you can be in tutor group 4, Sam's in tutor group 4, Louis can be in 5, and so on. So it doesn't really matter what we're doing with this data, this is um, just an example. So it doesn't matter if it's accurate. Old Redneck can be in 1, and Bob is your uncle is in 1 as well. Okay, so what that means now is we can run a query on this table, and we can say, okay, select um, everything from the student table, where tutor group ID equals one. So that's the same as saying where tutor equals MTH or whatever it is. And so there you go. You can see that has returned all the people who belong to tutor group number one. And so what we've now got is a more efficient table because we're not uh, having to repeat typing in the name of the tutor group every time we enter someone. Now we just basically put a, na a number. And why this is even more efficient is because if we decide that the tutor group names change from uh, the code might change on one of them. If I go to my tutor group table, all I have to do, say pad changes to um, tad, don't know why, but it might. Um, that is changing it in one place, but everyone who now belongs to tutor group five um, will now appear as being under tad. I don't have to change it for every single student. So it just becomes a little more efficient. Um, and to give you an idea now, if we go back to our student table, this is the next type of query, it's called a join. Often you'll want to bring back information from two tables. And so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a select query where I'm going to select stuff from two tables. So what I do is I specify this, the table. So I'll go, I'm going to go student uh, first name and last name. I'm also though from the tutor group table going to was name we called it. I'm going to bring the name of the tutor group back. And so you can see it's the same as a normal SQL query. It's going to be select what we're selecting and then where it's from. Now the main table we're selecting from is student, but what we're going to do is we're going to join the tutor group table on. So we go join tutor group and we say on and then basically how is it that we're joining them? What's the common key here? And so in the student table we're going to take the tutor group ID and that has to match in the tutor group table uh, the tutor group ID. And so that should hopefully go and bring back the actual name of the tutor group for each student. So if we hit go, and there you go. You can see that's brought back all the names of the people and also the name of the tutor group they actually belong to. So that's what's called a join. And if I just go in line and highlight that again for you, you can see it. It's the same formatting as always. Select, then you've got the stuff we're going to select. But again, just because we're selecting from multiple tables, you have to specify that table first. So you can see student dot first name, um, oopsie, should be student dot last name as well, tutor group dot name, and so on. And then the, what we do is we join the second table on as the condition we're joining them on, and that's the common key. In this case, the common key we're looking at is tutor group ID. So the student tutor group ID has to match the tutor group ID from the tutor group table. So that is a basic overview very much of how you would make your tables more efficient and that is by using common keys across different tables and also how you would run a join query.